PhD will be working with county governments as it develops the draft energy solar water heating regulations of 2022. The regulations are aimed at compelling industries, educational institutions and other premises with hot water usage exceeding 100 liters per day to incorporate a solar water heating system installation. According to EPRA, the move is aimed at ensuring safety and quality in the solar water heating value chain as it seeks to also license all solar water heater technicians. The authority which was on its third day of its East Western region tour, had given a 40-day grace period beginning January 16th for Kenyans to forward their input on the draft water heating regulations of 2022. Other facets captured in the regulations include the spelling out of the standardized materials to be used for the installation of the solar systems and a 20,000 shilling fine for those found culpable of installing solar water heating infrastructure without the required license. We had set some kind of uniform capping on how much the solar regulations could have been enforced, but we found that Kenya is not homogeneous. We find that there are some counties may not require as much water heating than uh, the, like the rest. So we will be partnering with the county governments to set what we call the fractions, so that we know maybe like in Mandela, they may not require so much solar water heating, so what is their threshold we set for them? 1,000 kilowatts. 